Hi everyone, today we are watching The Legend of Vox Machina episode 8, A Silver Tongue. Um, last week's episode, if you do not recall, I was absolutely devastated. I did not even want to keep going. Um, it is a new day. Really fast, I just want to show you, I'm not sure if you've seen the shorts that I'd made recently, but I got something in the mail. And if you remember, we had a D&D one-shot game that we went live to do um, a couple of weeks back. And one of the members actually made minis for all of us who participated and also a spectator. I was a dwarf um, cleric and check this out. There was also some dice included as part of the display. And also, look at this, spellbook cards, cleric, because for the new campaign that we're going to do, I am still going to be a cleric for that one. So this is amazing. Thank you, Space Cadet. And if you're wondering how I got something in the mail, I got a P.O. box. <laughs> So I will just put the P.O. box down there for anyone else who's curious. And I will also say a thank you to my patrons who have been awesome and supporting me. Everything is going right back into the channel to try to improve the quality and whether it's equipment or subscriptions to things like Vimeo, etc. Thank you so much. And I also want to say thank you to you, the viewer who has clicked on the video, hit the subscribe button, hopefully, and the notification bell so you know whenever I drop new content. Thank you for always commenting below with lots of information. And um, I have so much fun going through the comment section. I have been a little bit MIA this past two weeks cause I was quarantined, but that's another story. So let us go into episode eight. I still believe she's okay. I know last week I was like, Ugh. but the more I think about it, you know, I, like I mentioned, they said that she was their trump card. There's no way they will let her die like that, right? So I am still going to have faith that she is alive, but whether Percy would know that or will think that, that is an entirely different question. So let us just jump right into the episode. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Angel strength. No. I'll try again. No, rest. Rest. Especially one for whom the connection to the Everlight is questionable. Oh. Aww. Pike. You may need to just kind of have a moment to like maybe just do some self reflection for a bit. And then see if maybe answers come. We're right into it. It's it's not real. It can't be real. Stay with me. Or maybe there's a way to heal her. Keyleth, hurry. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. No. Is it real? Okay. I believe in you. Whoa, why is he so fast? Shepherds, they have given me a great many rewards. Whoa, <gasps> silver tongue. Okay. Oh, my God. This revenge is mine. Not if you're dead. We're in this shit together. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> nice one, Vex. Please work. <gasps> oh no. Oh. <laughs> I was about to lose it. Oh my gosh. Oh, yay, yay, yay! They have to have some sort of weak spot somewhere. So what does his tongue do? Like, he was able to like reanimate, I guess, or not re, he was able to animate the armor. I hate your face. 
Thanks <laughs> so much for me. Ew, stop licking your lips. At your command. He wouldn't. Okay, so it's not just animating things. He can, like, do that control, like mind control, too. I Delilah? No. <gasps> Oh my god. I'm sweating. Oh crap. So this is something else. It's not. It's not Delilah. <gasps> she answered. Oh, I brought her back. Speak, child. I will not lead you back. Oh, girl! We have to disarm him. Come on, Grog! Snap out of it! Is there any way to go after him? Ew! Ah, oh, crud! Ah, oh, crud! All of them? Oh my God! Can his sister help? Professor, your a talented mind needs time to cultivate, to think, to stall. Yet it bought me all the time. <gasps> Ew! He can't miss. Ew! That silver tongue, though, like crawling away like a little bug. Got, got it. Oh, he. The tongue out. We well, along with his jaw. You were... you betrayed us oh my most. God! Murder entered my heart. When murder entered my heart. Holy! And there goes the name. At least she was able to snap him out of it. I just hope that it's not something that the more he uses it, the more it consumes him or something. I thought you were dead. And I thought you'd come back to check. Oh no! So maybe all this time she thought he kind of betrayed her or, you know, left her behind? Feeding information to the resistance. Oh! We are together. She doesn't seem trustful of him. Especially, like, if all these years she thought he just left her, and, you know, they've been, like, probably saying lots of things to her about him. It's a star chart, Grog. These symbols show the sky this was the solstice. Hmm. That's five days from now. Okay, what was that about the temple <laughs> again? Oh, I'm slow. Uh, I'm getting teary, guys. Like, it's probably half because, like, this is so loud. The music and everything. Oh, no. Is she going to make another zombie thing? No, is he a sacrifice? Her voice. I keep forgetting that it's Azula. Oh no, oh no, I hate these things. Will be but an empty shell. I'm kind of curious to see what the truth is. Ooh, to yourself. To yourself. Aw, she's so cute. The truth. We drink, we fight, and gotcha. we curse, and I love it. Mm. I mean, they're why you cut off my connection to your light. You didn't sever it. I did. Right, that's what now the other lady said. Any path can be a holy one. So long as one walks it with truth. Who are you? Why can't it be both? You can do good with your friends. You got land. You got He's so goofy, I love it. No, 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 no,
I'm not. I'm being a big bad hero and a They're not getting me with a jump scare. Magic below the belt to make you feel young again. <laughs> it is magic. Hello! Oh, Kate! Oh my god. Rebels should be gathering. If they saw the signal. Oh, thank God. Yeah, not really the time for your whole house stories. Horror death. Yeah, I've been having a lot of nightmares with zombies. I think I know why. Well, at least these are slow. Not like the ones that got sent to them before. All right, so we got to the end of the episode and thank goodness she is still alive. I feel a lot happier now. I can move on with my life. <laughs> but that being said, I feel like I'm setting myself up again because things just took another dark turn um, with those zombies again. But like I also mentioned, at least these zombies are slow and not like the ones that came at them in, what was it, episode 5 or something? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Those were not good. Um, I'm still a little bit worried about Cassandra. She said that she was feeding information to the rebels or the resistance. But I'm also worried that... Okay, so here's my train of thought. When the when Azula, I can't remember her name right now, was like, this changes nothing. I think she is battling inside, you know, wanting to see Percy, to be with Percy, because that's her brother, and also feeling like he left her behind years ago, and whatever she might have been saying to them, whatever the, this changes nothing, whatever that reference is, I feel like she might not be 100% with us. And so, was she feeding information to the resistance, but also feeding information back? Like, was she triple crossing, double crossing? I don't know. Like, cause how else did, in the beginning when we first met the, was it Archie, the friend? Um, they were discovered because, I can't remember why they were discovered. Was it her that gave it away? I don't know. And then I was seriously thinking like they wouldn't let her die, but clearly he he was ready to be done with her. So that kind of goes against my theory then because if he was, I don't know if he would have calculated that Keyleth would have been there to be able to bring her back, right? So it was so graphic the way he finished Professor, whatever his name is, the jaw. <laughs> the tongue and then through the head like I do not want to cross Percy ever oh and then Pike how can we even forget about Pike um that was nice to be able to see her figure out in the end in the beginning my theory was like she didn't feel like she was worthy because you know like in episode one she was like we should try to do good um, but it turns out she's the one that severed ties because she chose her friends and, you know, things that may not necessarily be good over Everlight. So now she has to decide, I, she's going to have to choose her friends, but like, how is she going to be able to maintain her powers? Is she going to find a different deity? <laughs> but she, she has to have some sort of con um, way to realize that she can still serve ever Everlight and, you know, do good with her friends. And I hope that's something that they can work out with Everlight and, you know, she'll be back full on and be back for the next episode, I hope. But I'm going to stop this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I am... <sighs> this show, like, the emotions, man. But I am thoroughly enjoying it and I hope you are too. Um, make sure you comment below. I hope you hit the like button and stay tuned. We're doing a separate campaign with a different group this time. And, you know, we're still in the planning phases of that. I will be letting you guys know how that goes. And I can't wait to see the next episode. So have a great day. Have a great week, guys. And I'll see you next week. Bye.